hi welcome children today i am going to start a grade 10 unit 1 grade 10 unit 1 the grade 10 unit 1 is chemical basis of life the grade 10 unit 1 is chemical basis of life today i will explain the first part of the chemical basis of life chemical basis of life right unit 1 of the grade 10 is chemical basis of life right okay under this topic firstly we have to learn about firstly we have to learn about there are there are only about 25 elements in the living body it means our body contain 25 elements there are only about 25 elements in the living body out of the 92 element present in the nature nature contain 92 elements among them our body contain only 25 elements only 25 elements right okay and also they are present at different location in the body in different forms right in the first point we have learned about there are 92 elements in the nature among them 25 elements contained in the our body and also these 25 elements contain in the our body in different forms at different location different location right okay next one the most common four elements in the living body are right in the first point we have learned about there are 25 elements in the our body among them among the 25 elements contained in the our body there are four elements there are most four common elements in the living body are carbon what is the next one hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen carbon hydrogen oxygen and the nitrogen are the most four common most common four elements in the living body right now under the chemical basis of life firstly we have learned about there are 92 elements in the nature among them 25 elements present in the our body among the 25 elements present in the our body the most common four elements are carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen right next one then we will go to learn about other essential elements for survival of organism are among the 25 elements we have discussed about uh, only four common elements no the four most common element is carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen so what are the other elements the other elements are sulfur and also phosphorus sodium potassium calcium magnesium iron and also chlorine other than these elements there are so many other elements because our body contain 25 elements now our body contain 25 elements right now we have learned about elements contained in the nature is 92 among then 25 elements contained in the living body after that we have learned about the most four common elements contained in the living body finally we have learned about other essential elements for survival of organism are ah, right then percentage of four common elements in the human body right you can observe you can see this picture now this picture represent uh, some graphs right chart <clears throat> this one represent the percentage of the elements contained in the living body 65 percent in the oxygen 18 percent of the carbon 10 percent of the hydrogen 3 percent of the nitrogen and 4 percent contain other elements right uh, and also by observing this picture can be concluded the most common elements contained in the living body is what is the oxygen no oxygen is the most common if not which has the higher percentage in the our body is oxygen right then we will go to learn about our next part chemical compounds that build up living matter 
can be divided into two categories right now we have learned about there are elements in the our body the these the combination of the these elements form the chemical compound if not the chemical compound is made by combination of the elements contained in the living body and also now when we consider about the, these compound if not compound made by the chemical combination of the element can be divided into the two categories what are they can you tell the two categories are organic compounds and inorganic compounds organic compounds and inorganic compounds right let's go to learn about what is the organic compound what is the inorganic compound organic compounds inorganic compounds right organic compounds mean compounds which contain carbon compounds which contain carbon are known as organic compounds compounds which contain carbon are known as organic compound so what is the inorganic compound inorganic compounds mean compounds which do not contain carbon are known as inorganic compounds compounds which do not contain carbon compounds which do not contain carbon are known as inorganic compounds right now we have learned about the combination of the elements form the chemical compound right in the chemical compound chemical compounds mainly there are two types organic compounds and inorganic compounds organic compounds mean compounds which contain carbon are known as organic compounds the inorganic compounds mean compounds which do not contain carbon are known as inorganic compounds right next point right those organic compounds not inorganic compounds organic compounds that build up the living body or living matter right now we have learned about our body contain organic compounds and inorganic compounds right organic compounds that build up the living body or living matter are known as biological molecules biological molecules right what is the biological molecules biological molecules is the organic compounds no biological molecules is the organic compounds that build up the living body that build up the living body right then we will go to learn about what are the examples for the biological molecules or if not what are the types of the biological molecules there are four types of biological molecules there are four types of biological molecules what are they the first one is carbohydrates the first one is carbohydrates the second one is proteins the second one is proteins the third one is lipids the fourth one is nucleic acid nucleic acid right now we have learned about the types of the biological molecules the types of the biological molecules are carbohydrates proteins lipids and nucleic acid right today our lesson we have learned about the elements contained in the nature and then we have learned about element contained in the our body after that we have learned about other essential elements that needed to if not that help to survive the life of the organism and then we have learned about the percentage of the elements contained in the living body and then we have learned about the chemical compounds contained in the body the chemical compounds contained in the body we have divided into the two groups organic compounds and inorganic compounds after that we have learned about what is mean by organic compounds and what is mean by inorganic compounds after that we have learned about the biological molecules the biological molecules mean organic compounds that build up living body or living matter are known as biological molecules after that we have learned about finally the types of the biological molecules the types of the biological molecules are carbohydrates proteins lipids and nucleic 
as it right in my next video i will explain the carbohydrates right have a nice day